Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Romani. Today we're gonna talk about how you're going to lose up to 20 pounds before summer 2024. I know that summer 2024 is like a few months away, it's right around the corner, but this is so possible and I want to show you right here why it's so possible. If you have never seen my channel before, I am a personal trainer, but I also used to be overweight as you can see from the photo and this wasn't even a long time ago. Throughout my 10 year career as a personal trainer, I've had a few fitness journeys. And so this first photo is from 2022. So that's only two years ago. And then the second photo is from yesterday, 2024. So it's a two year gap in between both of these photos. But like I said, I have been a personal trainer for 10 years and I have trained so many women. I've helped so many women lose weight and I know what it takes to like really get your body to lose weight. So if you are struggling with weight loss, watch this video, take some notes, and we are going to create a plan that is going to literally change your life. The first step to losing these 20 pounds is really believing that you can do it and then really pushing yourself to do it. Don't just say that you're going to do something and then you just sit there and you don't do what you say you're going to do. So that's first things first. You have to commit to this healthy lifestyle. All right, let's get into the video. The first thing that I want you to focus on is your water intake. So many people People don't realize how much water plays a big role in your weight loss journey. Your body is 75% water. I hope that that is the right, I think it's 75% water. Your body is mainly water, so you need to be drinking water. I talked about this in a lot of previous videos. When I was starting my weight loss journey, I would drink a gallon of water a day. Now the internet is a weird place and people are super sensitive and everybody's like, oh my God, a gallon is too much. When I was doing it, it was fine and I was losing weight and I still do it today. So drinking a gallon of water has never been an issue for me. If drinking a gallon of water is an issue for you, just drink half of your body weight in ounces or drink at least half a gallon of water a day. Half a gallon of water a day is not going to do anything to disrupt your system. But let me tell you why you're going to be drinking a lot of water. You're gonna be drinking a lot of water because water makes you full. It also kind of like stops those cravings. So if you're constantly drinking water you're not thinking about eating unhealthy snacks or unhealthy foods you're not drinking unhealthy drinks because you are drinking water speaking of unhealthy drinks that brings me into my next tip we're going to start limiting alcohol i know that in the summer <clears throat> all you can think about is like happy hour barbecues cookouts and all that but like you can get there like you can have that when you get there right now since you're in planning phase you're in preparation mode you need to let go of the alcohol and not even just alcohol, let go of the sugary drinks in general, the Starbucks, the cappuccinos, the frappuccinos, and also the alcohol, the shots, the champagne, it all adds up and it all puts pounds on you. So even if you're like, I don't eat a lot, I only eat once a day. I don't know why I'm still gaining weight. I don't eat much. You're drinking a lot with the happy hours and the going out every Friday, Saturday, Sunday is going to put pounds on you even if you don't realize it. In previous videos, I've talked about my journey with quitting alcohol and it has been the best thing ever, not even just for weight loss, but just for my energy, how I feel and how I look overall. But it definitely helped in the weight loss department. My face has gotten slimmer and my body has gotten slimmer and I wasn't even doing anything differently at first like I had just cut out alcohol and I started to notice that my clothes were fitting differently in the first couple of weeks and months now in about a few weeks I'll be one year no alcohol and I absolutely love it and I recommend it to everybody because if you want to lose weight the alcohol one is going to put pounds on you two it stops muscle recovery so like your muscles can't even recover properly for you to get the results that you want to see even if you're working out instead of drinking whenever I go out I have ginger beer but I have been put it in a champagne glass and it just kind of does the same thing of course like you don't get drunk but it, it gives the same feel nobody's asking you any questions and you can kind of move on with your day and aside from weight loss your body is really just going to thank you when you start cutting out alcohol your liver is going to thank you every every organ in your body is going to thank you I know that you can't see your insides from the outsides but you're literally killing yourself when you are drinking alcohol all right let's move on from alcohol the next thing that I want you to do is limit your processed foods this means you're limiting the fast food the sugary food the food that comes in boxes and cans anything that has been processed before it comes to you other than 
like frozen fruit. Frozen fruit is fine, but I'm talking about crackers and chips and fries. All of those things are considered processed foods and you want to let them go because usually heavily processed foods are not natural and it's going to cause your body to react in a certain way. Usually that reaction is going to be weight gain, acne, fatigue, bloating, constipation. It's going to do so many harmful things. So like don't have the processed foods. Instead of eating processed foods, I really want you to focus on whole foods. And I'm not talking about the grocery store. Whole foods means that it's one ingredient. So one ingredient would be a tomato. One ingredient would be a strawberry, an apple, a piece of chicken. Like it's just one ingredient. It doesn't have to be made with like 15 different things. That is what whole foods are. So you can really focus on vegetables, fruit, lean meats, things like that. Shameless plug, since we are talking about meals and meal planning, I am dropping a brand new weight loss program on Friday, April 12th. So depending on what day you watch this, it may be out, it may not be out, but by April 12th, the Hot Girl Summer 30 Day Weight Loss Plan will be out. It has so many meals on there. I have workouts, like I have all the things and it is very interactive. Like you're going to be seeing me work out. There are videos. I'm going to show you like your form and all of that. And it is just going to be a vibe. If you've done any of my other weight loss programs then you know the girls lose at least 10 pounds like 10 pounds minimum which is why I'm so qualified to make this video but the girls lose like at least 10 pounds so if you would like to um, start that plan if it's out so like if it's after April 12th when you're watching this just click the link down below I'm gonna leave it down below and you can always use the code YouTube for a discount so you want to make sure you are eating nutritious meals and I know that a lot of people say like carbs are bad all all carbs are not bad. You don't want to eat refined carbs though. Refined carbs are like pastas, bread, cereal. You want to eat complex carbs. So a complex carb is like a sweet potato, a banana, an apple. So you can kind of research these things to see am I eating a refined carb or a complex carb? Because sometimes refined carbs will sneak up on you. So like you're eating toast in the morning, you're eating biscuits, those things kind of like put pounds on you and it can kind of undo all of your progress if you're constantly eating those things all right next tip i want you to focus on working out now i'm not saying you have to do crazy workouts in the gym for five hours you can walk like you can go on very long walks everybody knows i love to go on very long walks you can go to a yoga class you can go to a fitness class you can work out at home with my hot girl summer 30 day weight loss plan link link in the description but you can work out at home you can work out at the gym just make sure you're working out at least least four times a week and I always say four because you want to do the majority of the week if you are only working out three times out of the week there are four days where you didn't work out so majority of the week you didn't work out which means majority of the month you didn't work out which means majority of the year you did not work out so if you always do four you know that majority of the year you have worked out now weight loss doesn't solely depend on exercise I personally believe that eating habits is like the bulk of it all and then exercise just helps Helps you like exercise is that cherry on top to really get you the physique that you want but as far as um like losing the weight you are going to need to eat healthy but when you have that eating healthy out the way i really need you to focus on your workout so four times a week getting your heart rate up at least 45 minutes like 30 minutes just doesn't cut it now i know sometimes we're busy and 30 minutes is all you can commit to and if that's all you can commit to fine but if you can commit to more 45 minutes or an hour minimum. I hope that you were taking notes, but if you didn't, we are about to go back over everything. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start prioritizing your water intake, and then you are going to let go of the sugary drinks. So you're replacing the sugary drinks like the alcohol and the milkshakes, you're replacing that with water. And then you're going to eliminate the processed foods. You're going to replace the processed foods with lean meats, with vegetables, with um, fruit, and then you're going to add working out so you're going to work out and you're going to eat healthy like i said at the beginning of this video summer 2024 is right around the corner but don't let that discourage you you still can lose up to 20 pounds you can lose more than 20 pounds like everyone's body is different so you can lose a lot of weight you can lose a little bit of weight but you won't know if you don't try so really use all of these tips and let me know how everything goes in the comments like i said my new plan is dropping and by the time you watch this it'll probably be out so just click the link 
link in the description box and use the code YouTube. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let the algorithm know that you like seeing my videos and I will see you in my next video.